All right, I wanted to show everybody the inside of my rebuilt ECU from Relentless Motorsports. Um, this is my OE ECU, the one that was came factor with the car. You can see the marks they put on there showing that they did the work. And if you look, these little round ones right here are the ones they mainly replaced on my ECU. And there's some more over here, and there's going to be some over there, a little bit smaller. And if they did do anything else, I don't know which ones they did, but I'm very sure those are the main ones they replaced. But I found something else that was new in the car, or in the computer, that I found that didn't look right to me. Now, if you look right here, if you look right here, I'm going to back the camera up, or zoom in, there they are. Wow, that came out clear. You can see those four pieces right there. They're going across, there's three of them going across a black computer chip, and then there's one out there by itself. But if you go on an angle a little bit, I'm going to change the angle a little bit, and you look right there, there's one right there. It's got a little bit of a gold color. Let me see if I can brighten that up. See that gold right there? Yeah, that made it a little bit better to see. You can see that gold on that one pin on that end. And that signs of that thing getting really hot. Because all the other seven of them, I believe, three, four, five, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, all the other seven of them look clean. Shiny, no discoloration. And let me see if I can get in here in a different angle. Can you see... It's dipping or the other ones are not that signs of that metal getting hot and it sagged and it looked like it uh, got itself stuck underneath it which is crazy Let's see if I can change the angle but you can see it but yeah there's like a little clear coating on everything and that clear coating looked like it got soft and it stuck itself to that chip. Now, nothing looks like it melted itself together, but that definitely showed signs of getting hot and sagging and the guarantee of that little chip is bad. Or resistor, or I'm not good with the technical terms of these things on the circuit board, but I'm pretty sure that's what went wrong in my ECU. Now, there could be other things I don't know about Relentless Motorsports will have a way to uh, most likely test a lot of the chips and everything in this ECU. And they should be able to tell me if anything else is bad on it. So most likely I'm going to get with him, send it to him, and let him decide what we found. So, what joy. But... Not talking bad about Relentless Motorsports. They do excellent work. I trust them 100% working on my ECUs because they do great work. And anybody that needs work done on their ECUs, I will always recommend sending it to them. So, you guys keep up the good work. And uh, I will be getting with you here soon.